Should be episode 282 or 283 if I'm not mistaken. Y'all see who back? <laughs> Fresh out the pen, you know what I'm saying? She had to do a bit. Nah. <laughs> We Don't back, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they gonna take it serious, right? They gonna be like, "Oh shit, ankle monitor is off." You know what I'm saying? We outside, man. Off, off. <laughs> That's a fact, man. But we back at it, man. We all your hosts of the Don Coin D Week and Hippie Show and Chun Chun. Yes, What's sir. Up? The highest hippie in the room, D Week and Hippie, of course. Uh, my son Spliff. Shout out to Spliff. He on a um, what you call it? Uh, he on he on business right now. You know okay, what I'm saying? Good, There's good. like two battle events today, so you know. He's the voice of the streets over there, so mm. he got to go over there and get his interviews in and all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? Don Cole, um, he just ain't answering me, y'all, so, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's all right. He, he recovering from his hand and all that. Y'all saw him on the last episode, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did, how, how did that go? Uh, he, he getting better, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's I think it's his middle finger knuckle that's really hurt. Mm. It's it like... I think it fractured or something like that, like a slight split, you know what I'm saying, on his shit, because he was delivering food, he ride on his e-bike, and somebody clipped him. Mm. Yeah. So he had to brace his fall and all that type of shit, man. Yeah, he was uh, telling me that. I was like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, talk to the people real quick. What's up? Like, yo, so, <laughs> I didn't do a bid. <laughs> like, I had to honestly sit to myself and say, if I'm going to speak or I'm going to say something, I want it to be where my mind is clear and not speaking from, like, from my, um, I'm really emotional and shit like that. Because I be fucking, fucking people up. So, um, and it was other things that, you know, I had to work on and I did work on it, you know, just more of a me, me, yeah. you know. So self I took that, I took type that, shit, you know what I'm saying? I took that, that back a yeah, little man. bit, step back a little bit, but, um. I'm back, you know, and I honestly like like <laughs> looking at y'all videos. I'm like, damn, I'm like, damn. All right, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. These so, yeah. ignorant motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> they need me back. Yo, we we be saying that after episode, every episode, we be like, yo, when Chun Chun get back, she gonna get on our ass for some <laughs> yo, of shit. We yo, seriously. <laughs> I was just like, all right, let, let me just get back and just you know, but. That's that a fact. Ass. But you know, we me and you talk, you know, off camera and all that and I told you, you know what I mean? Take that time that you need because yeah. I I know exactly what that feel like cuz I go through life shit and I be like, I don't want to talk to nobody. I know I yeah, could not like not handle it myself, but I know I could pick myself up off my bootstraps, you know what I'm saying? And, correct. Yeah. And then when you feel like I could talk to somebody about what I've yeah, come to a sense with, you know what I'm saying? So it's cool, you know what I'm saying? You know, you always, the door is always open for you. you are like, we already, con it's concrete. This is your right. show, you know what I'm saying? So, you Aww, come in man. whenever you need to, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I got my brother, he behind the scenes right now. He showed me um, a different uh, logo. Right. Besides the one I showed you. Got you, yeah. So, he's, he's making it more simple, you know what I'm saying? I think simple is better, you know what I'm saying? So, less is more, you know what I mean? So, less speaks more. Yeah, you know Simple what I mean? speaks more. That's you know? a fact. So, yes. That's a fact. But uh, right. I'm glad to see that you back and you doing you in good spirits. You know what I'm yes. saying? She been posting more on IG, dancing and shit in her car. <laughs> I was like, all right, here we go. Yeah, like, yo, to be honest with you, I like used to do it, but then I stopped. And then it's like, all right. So <laughs> going through my phone, I'm like, yo, why do I got so much videos in my car? Like, same I shit. Like, yo, yeah, you don't even shit. post them shit. Save them And I don't. Like, like, I don't. But, yeah. um, yeah. yeah, like, that, you know, that'd be my alone time. You know, that'd be my time where if I'm, if I'm going to do something, mm -hmm. you know, besides painting or doing an event or something like that, like, me getting a video of my... <laughs> <laughs> It's a me thing. Self love, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, like you know. See myself in the good light. Yeah, you know it, what I'm it picks you up, like it makes you like just in a rut. So yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. Like um, the other day, I think it was Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I went to the Mets game. I went to the Mets game by myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just treated myself. Whatever post that I had, I, you know, I was posting throughout the day in my story, but certain shit I keep to myself because I just want to see me in that in that light. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm at a Mets game, I'm just happy. I'm not thinking. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> I was like, look at this dude. That's my shit. Like, right there. I got the tatted. 
You know what I'm saying? So, l- let me ask you a question, right? Shout out to Harmony Clothing Brand, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out. Oh, that's nice. That's why and I like that. Too. And Look at that. Too. Look at you looking all dappery. Yeah. <laughs> we need a sponsor, man. Throw a couple T's our way, you heard? Right. But, um, what do you do to, like, ele- elevate yourself? To uplift yourself? If you're not, like, hearing it or getting it, like... Feeling down. Yeah, like, like, what that. do you do? That's one thing that I used to do heavy and I still try to do right now is go to sporting events. Mm. But sporting events doesn't mean my two sporting events when I'm feeling down and yeah. I want to put myself back in the mood is wrestling and okay. baseball. Okay. Baseball baseball is my first love when I touched when I touched down in America like three years old. Yeah. When I got to my grandmother's house, she was watching the Mets game and I fell in love with them and that's what I've been watching my whole life is the Mets game. So when I turn it on, if they doing bad or if they doing good, it's just something that's consistently there for me. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So okay. when I go to a game, it's like I'm here in my living room, you know what I'm saying? And I just go all out. I'm chilling. I'm talking to the fans. We going at it with the Washington fans. They okay. just won the championship all in right. 2019. So you do so you do something that that uh will entertain you. That will occupy but, me, you know right. what I'm saying? And then besides that, <clears throat> I like to read. I'm starting to get back up on reading. Okay. So I'll read like, because me, I think the worst all the time. So I'm like, damn, I'm, I got it the worst. Don't nobody else got better than me, you know what I'm saying? Then, so you always, like you feel like you're always in your head. Then I'll look for somebody that I know been through some bad shit. And if they got like a book or if they somebody that's big or something, you know what I'm saying? You learn from that. Like, oh, I you. Calm down. There is a tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. You know what I mean? So mm. that's what I try to do. And music, music is always a, a a love. You know what I'm saying? Music always transfers your energy. So yes, it does. Yes. Especially depend. That's why I brought that up. Like you. You know what I'm saying? I just saw the last one. You was like, before anything, I'm Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and the music that you listen to that gives yeah, you that it, that energy like it does it does um music is something that i feel like is universal like throughout from here to there meaning as this country that country that country the music is always going to touch somebody mm-hmm. no matter what mm-hmm. um now going on to the next question do you feel like the certain type of music that you listen to affects your mood? Enhance your mood? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, positively and negatively. Mm, yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. music is like, that shit is real. Like, like we talked about it. Remember the last episode that you was here, mm-hmm. I believe? Uh, music or movies, what's more influential? Most influential, yes. You know what I'm saying? Because... Mm-hmm. Movies is like graphic, you seeing it, and music is like inspiration because you're not seeing it, but you're hearing it, and you're like, damn, he went through that. I could go through this, you know what I'm saying? But then when you see somebody like, let's say, a Chris Brown, yeah, you know what I'm saying, where he starts off like, yo, <laughs> and then he's doing some gangster shit six, seven years later, you like, you blood now? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't go What's backwards. Up? Up? Yeah, yeah, so um, I think music affects you. Like, words in general affects you like so music is like when I, be, when I mean by words like um poetry nah it's not even it's not it, it could be that too spoken but word pe- what people tend to say to people like you gotta understand how how people take it mm-hmm. words is something that people gotta really like um just be mindful Right? Be mindful of how you say certain things. Because now, when it comes to music, right? And you listen to a certain type of song. And you're in a certain type of mood, right? Say that you're like in a fucked up mood. Fucked up mood. And this song comes on. This enhances <laughs> that fucked up mood. Yeah. You understand? So those words that you listen to, even even from people, not from a song too. It kind of, you. so it's like, you got to learn how to redirect Quick that story. negative. Quick story, we getting high, me and my man, right? Uh-huh. We cut school, we yeah. getting high. But we already got it in my in our mind. We like, yo, we going to go back up to the school and right. beat this dude up because 
He said he called our our friend's god sister a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we was okay. like, oh, nah, we about yeah. to get this. You know, we young. We ignorant. We like 15 years old type shit. Okay. So we, our endorphins is in that mood already. Like, oh, yeah, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now we smoking. And, you know, the day is going by. We forgetting about it almost. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But now we listening to um, Styles P, Gangsta and oh. the Gentleman. And a song come on, and he like, oh, I stabbed that, killed that. So we like, yo, yo, we got to go fuck this nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we go outside, we beat this nigga's ass or whatever, boom, boom, bing, bing. So if you felt like you listened to a different song. If we was listening to like happen. some R&B or some shit, we would have just been high and just been like, yo, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But then I don't know if that's true neither, because back in the days, in the 80s, that's what them dudes was riding around to. That soul, soul and shit. shit and still fucking and doing the drive-by. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I had to calm my nerves there. Okay, put that Anita on. <laughs> Listen to Johnny Gill. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. But nah. that could... That could soothe you to get ready to do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Because I... I don't know. I just think that music is so influential, and and people try to play like it's not. Mm, and it I'd be is. like, bro, you doing half the shit that you do because of your favorite yeah. music artist, not your favorite actor. Because you know, you like, damn, he not that. You know what I'm saying? Denzel Washington ain't Frank Lucas. He mm. not Alonzo from Training Day. You know what I'm saying? He not that. Right. You know what I mean? But in a musician, is like, damn, he came from the style. He had to make it right. Yeah. So he had to do what he talk about. You can't get yeah, out these trenches live, without live what you talk about, right? Yeah, <laughs> like. I but mean, then you come to find out, like, nah, he was just the one that was looking out the window, and telling the stories of what he saw. He's just that vivid with his pen game. Real you know what I'm saying? to the point where you could just spot out the the, the color on and the leaf. And you could think that he's in that story that he's telling. Nah, nah, that's just a story that he's telling that he know mm. about. You know what I mean? So, cause one of my favorite rappers is like that, like my son P. Easy. You know what I mean? He not really with that street shit, but he could say it because he's been around it. Right. He's seen it. It's mm. crazy. This shit is real like that, bro. But you know what I mean, that's why I put my stunners on today, man. I ain't know what type of energy we just gave. <laughs> I thought I had to hold sis down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, whoever. You know what I mean? Whoever hating. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hate. Get this work. You know what I'm saying? But oh, mm -hmm. I'm tight, man. I'm tight that you missed the showcase event. The showcase event was popping that night. It was lit. I seen it. You know what I'm saying? I seen it. I seen I'm it. I'm putting it together right now. I just uploaded all the performances. Mm -hmm. I'm um I'm gonna put the whole show together and put it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But it was a fun night. The ladies killed it. It was like eleven ladies, mm -hmm. like five six dudes. You know what I'm saying? They killed it. But shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, May twentieth. Make sure you guys get ready, man. Face off the movie. Part two, LXD versus MVS is gonna go down. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and all that. You watch Super Mario Brothers yet? No. Gotta watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna watch it. Like I wanna go by myself and sit in a the theater early, early, mm -hmm. and just relive that. <laughs> nah, it's a just good movie. It. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Oh, it caught me off guard. I was a little pessimistic going into it. I was like, oh, what's the storyline gonna be? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Like, what's gonna happen? But they they did a great job with that shit. Job. Okay, good. I'm when you see it, we'll talk it. about it in depth. But um, where you want to start? <sighs> you start. Go ahead. Let me see. I was just gonna start with saying rest in peace to Jerry Springer. Mm. Yo, childhood. <laughs> it's is gone. a mm, and a laugh at the same time. That is like. Yeah.